Hello guys, today I'm going to be starting a new series, okay? It's going to be top 10 series. I'm basically going to be going over top 10 things of something about Boom Beach. I hope you guys enjoy. So today we're going to be doing the top 10 tips and tricks for Boom Beach. And just like stuff you probably not have known. So let's get started. I'm like you might think. You can't take out a boom mine in a building with artillery that is exactly one tile apart. I stand corrected, Johnson. It is super fun to blow something up that provides no strategic advantage. Taking out buildings that provide no strategic advantage may produce more energy than you spent. If you have a right to down base design, you better not place your statues like this, as it can align smoky royal rushes and can be very lethal against you. Placing an emoji behind your name will give you a unique pink slash green shadow. Click the video on the screen or the link in the description to see more about this glitch. This will also work for your task force. Despite what you might think, upgrading your mind is a very good idea. It provides more damage to certain troop combinations, which may be the difference between winning and losing. Also, before you attack, always check behind statues and sniper towers for hidden mines. Before you find a new opponent, you may want to consider what level of a player bases are on your map. If the base is a higher level than the other bases, you would want to search for someone else. However, if the player is lower than the other bases, if you search, you may end up with a harder base. Your gumbo is always on the far right of the ocean. This will cause your abilities to take more time to reach your position. So if you are attacking Dr. Tear, be sure to allow a little more time for each ability. Putting defensive statues under trees is a very good idea. As many people don't scout the base, you may be able to trick people and beat the opponent. The vault is the most valuable building. Always max it before upgrading another building. It allows resources to be protected so you don't lose nearly as much when your base gets destroyed. All this extra loot will help you upgrade more buildings faster. Going offline for more than 72 hours will take your base off the active list so no one can attack you. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. Also, there's a top 10 playlist down in the description down below. If you want me to continue this series, be sure to tell me down in the comments because I would love to know what you guys think. Also, if you have something that I didn't mention, be sure to post that in the comments also. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.